Greetings, my fellow gamers. It is I, Wraith King, bringing you news from beyond the mirror, from the other world. And I know I said I was going to upload other videos, and I will. It's just really, really hard to upload other videos because when you make a, a channel that has so much of one game on it, it's really hard to switch over because so many people like the one game you play. But don't get me wrong, I still am going to do it. I'll just take my time with it. Um, and even though it is pretty hard, but you know what? That's a, that's on another subject. Today, um, Yan he has been released today, and um, she has been nerfed. <sighs> now, most of you are probably thinking, "Okay, what nerf? What are you talking about, Wraith King? What's this nerf you're talking about?" Well, first of all, before we get into that, let's just talk about the um, the original version of Seven Nights. I keep calling it the Korean version, but it's not the Korean version. It's the original version of Seven Nights. It's um, it's not like you know the Asian version or the um, Indian version. I don't know or Australian version or whatever. No, no, it's the original version of Seven Nights. Before there was any version like English version, British version, whatever. There was the original one that was produced in Korea, uh, the original Seven Nights, and that was in the language Korean. Uh, there was Korean text, Korean voice acting, that was the original game. It wasn't exactly meant to be, well, you know, here. It wasn't meant for, you know, um, everybody to play. It was really just meant for those in Korea because it was produced by Korean developers and it was made there and it was developed for that particular crowd. But after it got so popular, even though it was in another language, people all, all over the world were playing it. This, the developer said, you know what, I think it's about time for us to develop a global version of this game so everybody can play uh, and, and enjoy it in their language. And then they developed it and here it is today. But each version of the game is, um, ha is overseen by other developers and that's what causes these nerfs. That's what causes these changes that seem terrible that might make us seem like, you know what, I don't like this game, I don't want to play it, I'm just going to stick with the original version. That is what causes these changes is the the uh, other versions of these games are seen and um, taken care of by other developers not just the one developer the guy the guy or girl who uh, created uh, seven nights so that's where we're seeing all of these changes is because if they just want to change their game the way they think um, suits for them I should say excuse me um, but you know I'll be honest with you, some of these nerfs and some of these changes, I should say, they're not exactly nerfs because um, the characters haven't been added to this game until just now, so I wouldn't call them nerfs, I would call them just um, changes to the character, uh, the original character uh, from another game. Now, now let's just get keep clean that up, Korean version, the, the original version is a completely different game, so these are nerfs, they're just changes. Uh, so this is technically the original character of this game, but be that as it may, I don't understand why they would uh, change uh, Yanhi the way they did because she was fine the way she originally was. But then the question comes to me: um, a lot of my friends have been asking me why exactly they've been nerf nerfing these heroes, well, or changing them. In my opinion, why have they been adding these changes? Well. I want to say it's the Hidden Masters fault because when these heroes were released, the Hidden Masters were like the OP characters of this game. Like they they were the big cheese. They were everything to this game, and they're OP here. And the original version of Seven Nights, their the Hidden Masters aren't fully released. I mean, they released Kalahan uh, not too long ago. But the funny part about that, you know, I'll get to that later. Right now, that's going way off subject. There's a funny story to what actually happened with uh, Callahan being added to the original Seven Nights, but we'll talk about that later. But what I think is they want to maintain the power of these characters, so what they're doing is they're changing uh, the original characters to the point where um, these characters will remain the strongest. So um, I, that's just a theory. I'm not entirely sure if that's true or not, but that's what I think. But all right, let's get to Yen Yuan, because that's why everybody told you. I don't know why I keep calling her Yen Yuan He. It's Yuan He. It's Yuan He. So okay. Um, insight. Her first. Um, her passive ability. Excuse me. She becomes immune to all damage for seven times. So this this is where the nerf was. Increases accuracy rate 
Uh, accuracy rate decreases evasion rate, protects all allies from damage reflection, which is actually decent. Decreases the defense of all enemies by 60%, which isn't that bad. Now, her original, um, her original abilities, I'm trying to remember what exactly those were, but I do remember that her unique passive really, really worked if there were more than uh, three mages on the team. So if you had three mages, three, you know, three magic-based heroes, she would be immune to damage. Um, she would have a void shield, I think, that lasted three turns. And she also um, could attack two enemies with basic abilities. So, like Delens in his Awakening Stake, he can attack two enemies. She just did naturally. If um, she just did naturally, so I think that's only if uh, there were three uh, magic-based enemy. Three magic-based allies on the team. Now. What bothers me the most about her is she actually used to have sleep on her, and now that that's not here, that's a little annoying to me. Not only did she used to have sleep, uh, her abilities actually were nerfed as well, but I'll be getting to that a little bit later. But anyways, um, as for her passive, my overall opinion on it is definitely could have been a lot better. Her passive could have been the way it used to be, but don't get me wrong, it's still good. It's still a good passive. It's not as good as it used to be, but the fact that she can decrease the defense of all enemies by 60% is still pretty good, I have to say. But at the same time, I really was hoping they could have at least kept the fact that she used to attack two enemies at the same time. I really was liking that, and the fact that she could put people to sleep, that just gave her her rank as one of the four lords of old. It made her so powerful. It made her a special hero. But they don't have that here, and she can't attack two enemies at the same time. Like, everything has been removed that made her amazing. Don't get me wrong, she's still good. She's still good, but not as good as she used to be. But all right, let me show you why she is not as good as she used to be. Let me show you what her original passive used to do. What her original passive did is she had a void shield from any kind of damage for seven hits and amplify her magic damage by 50% if team have at least three magic hero type. The second thing her ability did is her normal attack, speed, and counter target two enemies and had a high chance to apply sleep for two turns on speed counter attack. So basic attacks and speed attack and all that kind of stuff. So what it's saying here is she has been nerfed, but at the same time she's been buffed a little. She decreased, instead of her increase in magic attack, if there were three um, magic-based allies on the team, she just straight up decreases enemy defense by 60%, which is good, but at the same time, I really wish they could have just ditched the accuracy thing and gave her uh, the ability to attack two enemies with basic attacks. That would have just been great. I think Callahan has a serious effect on this game because Delens had an accuracy increase and now she does too. I'm starting to understand that that may be the reason they're nerfing these characters is because of the Hidden Masters. Now as for her first active ability, this was nerfed pretty bad as well, but let me show you how it was nerfed. Let's see her original ability. What her first active originally did is she targeted three enemies with triple 70% magic damage, additionally penetrates and deals an extra 30% magic damage of target's max HP. Accumulated damage inflicted equals to 210% magic damage plus 30% magic damage of target's max HP. Now, okay, let's see what the original one does. She inflicts 70% magic damage on four enemies two times. Additionally, critical hit will be applied and reduces the enemy's buff duration by three turns. Disappointed! I mean, her passive wasn't that bad, but come on, this is terrible. I mean, why did you nerf her this badly with her first active ability? I don't understand why you couldn't have at least given her the penetration here. I don't understand what the deal is with these nerfs. You know, you know, I think my theory's right, though. I think my theory is right about the uh, Hidden Masters thing, because this is ridiculous. I didn't expect the nerf to be this dang bad. Really, I didn't. But you know what, you know, I'm, I'm gonna stop calling it nerf. It's starting, it's a habit, I'm gonna stop it. But okay, let's take a look at her second active ability. But before we do, 
Let's see what it used to do. What her second active used to do is she used to target four enemies with double 100% magic damage, additionally a high chance to apply sleep for two turns. Accumulated damage inflicted equals to 200% magic damage. Now let's see what Eternal Sleep of Annihilation does now. Wow, that is a mouthful of an ability right there. Anyways, this inflicts 150% magic damage on all enemies, burns the enemies by 600% of magic attacks for two turns at a certain rate, additionally inflicts a 2000 fixed damage, which actually isn't that bad. This is not such a bad nerf, although uh, it would have been nice to see the sleep on this one uh, because, well, that's her original thing. Now, she's still pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, Inuani isn't terrible. Um, her first active ability, I have to admit, that's pretty bad. That's a pretty bad nerf. You could have at least given the burn on her first ability and given her a burn on her second active ability so it wouldn't seem like her first active is just, you know what I'm saying? So, you could have just made all amazing Yuanyi. You could have just made her entire character great instead of just changing the first active and then making everything else pretty good. But you know, I still do wish she had the sleep. Uh, so now that she doesn't have that, um, I have to admit I'm not too pleased with that, but um, other than her first active ability, I'm decently satisfied I'm decently satisfied but at the same time still a little upset because they took away the sleep I would have liked the sleep in place of the burn really I would have but, but you know what that's okay that's okay um, now okay I'm pretty sure they haven't changed her animation so I'm not going to see much of a surprise myself but you guys might be in for a surprise okay those messages are getting a little bit annoying so I'm gonna turn those off there we go that's a lot better now, okay, now let me tell you how she used to attack three enemies. Now, you see this critical attack right here? That team split into two, and it attacked two enemies originally, but it doesn't do that anymore, which is a little frustrating. So, okay, I, I'm just gonna throw that aside. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so a little upset about that, but okay, let's take a look at the first animation. I see you in your end. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? I'm sorry I had it on times two, so I'm gonna slow it down a little bit for you guys so you can see it a little bit better. I see you and your end. Now right away you can tell Yenuani her I said I said it again. I said it again. <laughs> I don't know why I keep calling her that. But as you can see, Yuan He Um she is a very, very majestic character. Her abilities are very, very attractive. They're just all around gorgeous. And I'll wait until you see this one, though. Hmm, I want to play more. But it's time to sleep. Now, when she said it's time to sleep, it just really reminded me of when she used to put people to sleep. <laughs> Oh, uh, why did they take that away? I mean, why? It just doesn't make any sense. I mean, her original version was so unique, it was so perfect. I mean, I can understand if they nerfed her stats a little bit, or excuse me, changed her stats a little bit to where they worked with, you know, the Hidden Masters being there. But they could, this is all out just changed everything with her. They changed her abilities. They just, so much has been changed with her that I have to admit, it's making me not want her to grind for her as much as I am in the uh, original version of the game, because believe it or not, I'm still grinding for her. I haven't had the time to really level her up to 50 like I wanted to in the original version, uh, because, and yeah, they, yeah, the level cap will be increased to 50, but that's a little farther in the future for the global version. But anyways, um, I wanted to cap her there because she was so unique, even though there are so many Awakened characters, special Awakened characters, and uh, normal awakened characters on the original version because it's ahead in, as far as the story is concerned and as far as content is concerned in the global version. So there are so many different varieties of characters, but she is still very, very deadly. She's still very good because she has that sleep, because she has piercing and all that kind of stuff. So am I pleased with the way she is now? 
yes and no i do like the 2000 fixed damage and the burn is pretty strong but at the same time the sleep really really made her unique it made her one of the four lords of old and now that she doesn't have that and her first active ability has been changed so much that it made her less unique than what she used to be she used to be such an amazing character and she still is but the fact that she activated her special talents with the help of other magic based teammates kind of gave a meaning to why you even need to use magic based allies because the truth is not a lot of people use too many uh, mage heroes uh, especially in this meta at the time not a lot of mage heroes are used and when she needed the help of two other mage heroes it just may gave you a reason to use your magic based allies it gave you the reason to use uh, that level 40 magic based character you never really used. It just gave you a reason to use all of your magic based heroes. It gave you new ideas for new type team types. It, it just gave you so much uh, reason to use magic based heroes. But now that she can't do that, it just means she's less um, unique than what she used to be. And the sleep really, really capitalized the fact that she was unique and she was a forelord of old. But now that she doesn't have those abilities, She's still, she's still good, but as I said before, not as um, unique. But okay, that's my review for Yen Yuanyi. I hope you enjoyed it. But before I end this video, I was going to talk about uh, Kalahan. Now, um, what they did with Kalahan on the original version of uh, Seven Nights is they nerfed him the same way uh, the global version has been nerfing all of their heroes. They made him special in one area in particular and he isn't that good in any other area so i feel like the original developer of seven nights is seeing that all these nerfs are happening and when they added callahan they're like yeah yeah see we nerfed one of your heroes yeah you see what i see what we did see we we see what's going on we see what's going on we don't like it either but you know what uh, that's that's just that's just a theory i don't know if that's what's really going on i'm pretty sure i mentioned that before but yeah they Nerf Callahan on the original version. So it's obviously noticed. Uh, the um, the original developer noticed that this is happening, and I'm pretty sure he or she doesn't exactly like it themselves. I'm pretty sure no and I'll be I'll be honest with you, I don't think anybody from the original version of Seven Nights really likes what they've been doing with the heroes here. I'll be solid honest with you. Like all these nerfs, all these changes, I, I keep saying nerf. I need to stop that. All these changes that have been made um, aren't exactly likable. But be that as it may, it's still a good game. And Hidden Masters are strong, but I want to see that strength in other heroes developers. I want to see the Hidden Master strength in other special heroes. Every special hero is good. That's it. They're just great. They're not in particularly good. No. They're, all of them are just straight up good. It just depends on how you use them and, you know, you, the way you feel like is suitable for you. That's what makes every character in this game is good is how you use them. Like, even a normal hero can be a great hero, an amazing hero, even better than some of the special heroes, depending on how you use them. That is the point of this game. So, I hope the developers take my idea into consideration and make all the characters just good in a special way and not just one character is better than the other like um what the worst thing i just completely hate in every game is vip heroes that's kind of like what the hidden masters are they're vip heroes if you buy a bunch of packs you have a high chance of getting them no that's not true <laughs> that's not true but um the hidden masters are incredibly rare though and I feel like that's kind of the direction this is going, and I don't like that. I hope Seven Nights doesn't do that and makes the Hidden Masters kind of like a VIP thing. And you get, like, it's guaranteed to get a Hidden Master if you purchase this or something like that. And I'm pretty sure they have deals like that already, but, you know, um, you still have a high chance of getting them. But I hope that's not the direction they're going, because I can't stand it when games do that. They make these one heroes you can only get if you're a VIP player, and I really don't like that. Seven Nights has never done that before, and I hope they stick to their guns on that and just don't do it. But you know, that's all the time I have left for this video, my fellow gamers. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I make content like this all the time. I'm actually planning on uh, making a separate video 
uh, probably sometime today or tomorrow. I don't know when this is going to be uploaded for you guys and gals, but I hope it's uploaded soon because I usually like uploading my stuff first thing as soon as the game is updated i like to make my reviews as soon as possible and upload so you guys and gals can take a look and uh, just see the character from um another perspective so you can see if you really want this character or not before you just go grinding for them but anyways that's all the time i got remember to leave a like comment and subscribe take it easy for me all right bye